Day 10, syntax scoring. There's a lot of parsing of these, looking for errors. Nested brackets. Usually when I say bracket, I mean square bracket. But I don't know of a word that's a generalization of parenthesis, square bracket, curly brace, and angle bracket, other than bracket. So here, bracket means one of these things. Um, it turns out a good data structure for matching up these pairs of things is a stack. And Python has a deck, double-ended queue, that's very efficient for um, appending and popping things off the stack. So do read this because I don't think I'll explain it all, but I'm going to explain all the code now. We're, first, we need to know what we're dealing with. So we've got these four open brackets and these four closed brackets. We load in the data. And let's do this like usual. So part one, part two. Let's look at part one. Uh, this involves assigning points for finding errors. And we're trying to find the first illegal bracket in the input. So let's see here. Total syntax error score. So we go through all the lines. And the first character that is wrong, we, give, we look up the score for. And then we sum all those. So sum of the syntax error points. Okay. Syntax error points. You get one for each line. And we get the first error in the line. Assign that to bracket. See if there was, in fact, an error. If there was, we continue. And we locate the index of the bracket in closed brackets, 0, 1, 2, or 3. Assign that to point index and then use that 0, 1, 2, 3 to look up the score in the points here. And then we yield that. So we have a generator and we sum the results from the generator. And that's part one. Part two. A little bit more complicated. You discard the corrupted lines, and the remaining ones are incomplete. They need some closing brackets to complete them, and you have to figure out what they are. And there are points given for each of the closing brackets that you add. And then there's kind of an interesting thing you do where you, in order to produce the completion score, you start with the total score of zero, multiply it by five, and then add the value of whatever you find. Continue, multiply by five, add the value of whatever you find. That gives you a bunch of scores, and then you have to um, produce the middle score. So at the end, you see, we take all these incomplete lines and we map it into repair value. We get a list of those, we sort those, and then we take the median and that gets the result we need. So let's look at repair. Well, let's look at incompletes first. So this gives us from lines, those lines that don't have an error. It discards the lines with errors. The remaining lines we call incompletes. Next, we map all those incompletes into the repair value function, which is right here. And it, here's this little loop that I told you about where you multiply by five and add the points. So for every bracket in open brackets needing closing, kind of like this 
these completion strings. There were a bunch of open brackets corresponding to these that need to be closed in this order. Okay, let's look at open brackets needing closing. We create a DAC, double-ended queue, uh, that we're using as a stack for open brackets. And we go through incomplete, the string of brackets. And for every bracket, we see if it's an open bracket, we append it to the stack. If it's a closed bracket, we pop and discard what is a corresponding open bracket from the stack. And then what's left is the brackets needing closing. Maybe we should run this one on the debugger. Okay, here we are. We've made our, our stack. And incomplete, this is our incomplete string. And now we've got the first bracket from it, which is this. And is this an open? Yes. So we put it, we push it on the stack. And we go through and it looks like we end up pushing a whole bunch of these on the stack. Um, these are all open until eventually you get a close, which is this uh, right, uh, right square bracket. So why don't we put a breakpoint here and run ahead. And now right. It's a close bracket and we're going to pop. So let's see, here's our stack. You got all these opens. Here's the open that corresponds to the close one. And we're about to pop that off. There. Okay, let's go on until we find the next close one. Uh, so it's a it's a right square bracket. Here's a left square bracket. We're gonna pop that off. Keep going a bit more. Pop that. Again. I'll put a breakpoint here so we make sure we don't go too far. And we're just going through here and pushing and popping things on the stack until eventually we get to here. And these are the remaining open brackets that we have to produce closed brackets for. And we use reversed here to get them in the right order, left to right. And now we go through. So the first bracket is this left brace. And so we have the total. We multiply that by 5. And we add the points that a left brace gives you. And the points at 0, 1, 2, or 3. So that's why we got three points there. And we go through and we get the total, which is this. Okay, that's it for this one. See you next time.